Sella here, and there's a coach who used to be a triple option fanatic who made the decision to become a spread RPO based coach. And his reasoning, and of course he posted it on Twitter because, <clears throat> like a lot of football coaches, uh, they just need to be heard and validated on Twitter, is he put down adapt or die. So his reasoning for getting away from the triple option was adapt or die. Well, here's my question. So how do you explain Air Force? Zero athletic scholarship football players. 100% under center the last four years. They've went 34 and 11. Won 76% of their football games. They're 5 and 0 against their last power five opponents. They run the zone dive over 20 times a game. Adapt or die? Let me tell you something, coaches. When you have the least amount of talent possible, you get the most out of your players by running the Air Force triple option offense. 34 and 11 in the last four years with zero athletic scholarships. Who wants to join the Air Force? I mean, that's great, but would you really take that over an FBS opportunity? Would you take that over an FCS opportunity? You know what you gotta go through in the Air Force? Getting up early, not being able to nap when you want, having to work nonstop, and then the government owns you. That's the sacrifices these players make to play Division I football. And yet they're 34 and 11. Adapt or die. See, the thing is, coaches out there, the weak ones, are looking for an excuse not to run this because they want to be the big brother to their player. They don't want to be the father. They want to be the big brother. They want to make friends with the players. They want to be their buddy. Because in the end, what these coaches really want is they want to seek validation. They don't want anybody to dislike them. You're in a position of leadership. It's not your job to be liked or disliked. It's your job to be respected. Boys follow men they respect. And let me tell you something. Girls follow men they respect. Girls want a man they respect. Now that's a whole different topic. I'd love to make videos on that. But let me tell you something. You are not going to get respect from your players and your assistant coaches and your stakeholders if you're trying to seek validation from them. Because then you become the beta. Then you become second place. Then you become the weak one. And you don't have control. Air Force right now has control. Adapt or die. This coach, who was a triple option fanatic, felt that he had to go to the spread and run RPOs because if not, he would die. Air Force has pro proven that you truly live when you run the triple option offense. And the way they do it's better than it's ever been done. The question is, are you ready to do what needs to be done to win big in 2023. Are you tired of losing? Are you tired of having to work so hard and get so little out of football? Are you tired of it? Are you tired of trying to do things and you can't beat the other team because your athletes aren't even close to who you're playing? Well, that's Air Force pretty much every week, unless you're playing in academy which is 11 times a year. They're in that same situation. They're you, but they're winning. Adapt or die. Oh, they adapted all right. At the end of the 2018 season, they said, we are going 100% under center. We're done messing around. We're done chasing the next job. We're going to be great at Air Force. Ever since then, 100% under center, 34 and 11. They run zone dive 20 plus times a game. 
Ain't real hard, fellas. Do you got the balls to do it or do you not? If you got the balls to do it, have the balls to pick up the phone and give me a call. Hey, listen. I fight for my clients. I fight to make sure you get this done right the right way the first time. Put your career in my hands. Give me a call right now. The Triple Option Football Academy and the Triple Option Football Academy camps are going to show you how. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk soon.